welcome to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks get set to take on the Nebraska Corn Huskers. Boy, it's been a while since Arkansas has been back at home, and last weekend they took three in a row at the Route 66 Showcase to win that thing and bring it home. Alongside me today is Corey Porter and Jonah Story. My name is EJ Sanders as we get set to go here at the Jones Center. They're playing a tough Nebraska team that comes in at eight and two, head coached by Larry Taylor and Tim Miller. Arkansas, meanwhile, on the other end, is coached by Keller Sims and Andrew Falls, as well as some other assistants over there. But Corey, we're looking forward to a good weekend. These are two stacked teams that are uh, ready to get at each other. Absolutely, and uh, you know, it's good to see Arkansas get three wins last week at the showcase. Uh, three hard fought wins and you know, come back home a winner. Now before a two game set with Nebraska, a really tough Maka matchup. First time these two have met up uh, since Arkansas joined the Maka last year and really officially this year. So it'll be interesting to see how these two teams match up. Quite the crowd on hand here as well. It should be a wild one. Yeah, and Arkansas, in the all-time series actually trails Nebraska. Nebraska is nine and seven. Arkansas seven, six, and two all-time against Nebraska. They have won the last two meetings. Both were at the Jones Center back in September of 2019, pre-pandemic, and they won both of those games by three goals, six to three and five to two respectively. So looking for a repeat performance tonight are these Arkansas Razorbacks, uh, but they got a stacked lineup on the other side. A couple of guys to look out for on this Nebraska Cornhuskers team. Justin Bontius from Lincoln, Nebraska, six foot one, 190. He has 15 points on the season. And Evan Detna from Lincoln, Nebraska as well. Nine goals, seven assists, 16 points on the season. Starting goaltenders for each team down on the other end for Nebraska. It's gonna be Bennett Stanchfield in goal for Nebraska tonight. His, the, he's the top goaltender for them. Six foot two, 180 out of Edina, Minnesota. 2.64 goals against average and a 918 save percentage. On the other end for Arkansas as he's about to skate out onto the ice. Arkansas going with Brady Reese. Two and two this season. He's from St. Louis, Missouri. He has a 2.01 goals against average and a 906 save percentage. So a couple of good goaltenders on the ice. It might be a slugfest for both of these teams. Corey. Yeah, excited to see Reese and Ned. He's a young guy who they're uh, really looking forward to seeing how well he develops in the future as a uh, longtime starting goaltender. Joseph Tusenka is a senior this year and will be leaving the team. So really looking for this young talent, this influx of goaltenders they brought in to really perform well. And we'll see Grady Reese tonight against a tough test in Nebraska who regularly appears in the national tournament, much like Arkansas has started to do in recent years. And, and they fared well there. So really a good litmus test for this Hogs team tonight against the Cornhuskers. Arkansas was outed a couple of years ago at the regional finals by this Nebraska team that same year that Arkansas uh, beat them uh, later that year. But uh, but in March of 2019 in the prior season, Arkansas lost the game one to nothing in the region finals to send them home and send their Nationals hopes packing that year. So we'll see if there's a repeat performance tonight or what's gonna happen as we get set for the National League.
long weekend of hockey ahead of you now, and your Arkansas Razorbacks get their helmets strapped on and ready to go. Nebraska will be wearing the black uniforms with the red pants skating from right to left in this first period, and Arkansas in their classic white uniforms with the red trim and the black pants, they'll be skating from left to right. One referee, two linesmen for normal ACHA games such as this one at Arkansas is set to go here at the Jones Center. It looks like they'll start with the Suga Sawara line for the Hogs. On the other side, it looks like Justin Bontus going to take the opening faceoff for the Cornhuskers. Face off at center ice, and we're ready to get started. A packed house here at the Jones Center, and an exciting weekend of hockey is underway. Opening face off, one back here by Bontius. It's gonna be played back and a bank pass up the near side boards all the way down the ice and that's gonna go for an icing. So an early icing there for the Cornhuskers. Nineteen fifty-three, only seven seconds to get that first icing and an offensive zone face off for the Hogs. Wilson to take it against Bontius. Base off is going to be one ahead here by the Cornhuskers. Arkansas slaps it back into the zone and giving chase into the corner there is Brandt. Brandt on the puck, stick handling behind the net, makes a pass up to the far side. It's tipped back into the neutral zone, just here to the near side, finds McAtee. McAtee looking to load up a pass, has a man on the far side. That's Sugasawara. Inlet pass finds Sugasawara. Sugasawara's cross ice pass blocked down there by Bontius. Back to the point, Estrada's shot is saved. First one of the game for Arkansas. And they're off to a hot start. Yeah, nice shot there from the point by Estrada and a good glove save to start the game for Stanchfield. Arkansas with the early pressure here in the first 30 seconds. Base off will be to the right. Hershey's going to win this one over to Cruz. Cruz will bank that one into the zone. It's held in there by LaPlante. LaPlante tries to send a through pass but can't find his man off a of Cornhusker skate and out of the near side. Arkansas on the puck, stick handling below the goal line. Cruz centering pass, went right through the crease area, and Nebraska looks to break out. LaPlante stands his man up, and Hershey dumps it back into the zone. Holding onto it back in his own zone is Biankowski. He sends an outlet pass and finds his man near side now out of the zone. Into the offensive zone comes Bergman. Bergman sends a pass to the near side. It's picked up here by Urbans. Urbans, a little shoulder check on Romero as it's gathered now by Arkansas behind their own net. Far side now, Hewerman looking to break out. Flips it into the neutral zone, gloved down there at center ice by Biankowski. He'll knock it back into the zone, and Arkansas will retreat. One minute, 15 seconds gone. Arkansas sends the puck along. The right-handed stick of Romero tips it back up the ice, and Hewerman a little between the legs pass finds Hershey. Sauce to center ice, and Biankowski's there again. Arkansas on the puck, though, as LaPlante tries to enter into the zone. This one's sticked up and out of play. As the goaltender gets a stick on that one, we'll have another stoppage. A little back and forth action so far. Arkansas has enjoyed two offensive zone faceoffs and have really done a good job getting set up and getting a good shot, uh, good shots away as they control the puck in the offensive zone. Faceoff will be to the right of Stanchfield. Stanchfield 5 0 on the season. Arkansas looking to hand him his first loss of the season. Out of the zone come the Cornhuskers into the offensive zone, skating with it here is Detna. Detna loses the puck though and Arkansas sticks it back to center ice. Cross ice pass by Brandt, misses the stick of a man and Odeline will gather it in for the Hogs. Ice Hogs reloading now on the puck is Yance. Out the pass, far side, has Valentin. Sends it up to the near side boards. Brandt giving chase, no icing here. Banks it off the near side boards. Odeline pinching down as Nebraska looks to break out again. Arkansas on the back check, able to get the puck back. They'll send it all the way back into their own zone. Sending it up the far side boards. After it there is Detna leaves the puck for his D-man. A shot in front, had a man in the slot. Couldn't quite put it home. Brandt from the point, sends it along the boards. Yance on the puck now for Arkansas. He'll backhand a pass near side to the right-handed stick of Odeline. Lots on the outlet now. Banks the pass along, looking for Scherer. Scherer able to run it down. He gets shouldered off the puck there. Centering pass found Valentini. Behind the net, though, 
A little too late, that puck on his stick. McAtee gathers it in for the Hogs at the blue line. Far side now, Deskier. Deskier, his D partner, will send it all the way across to the near side. Motor, little head fake into the corner. McAtee throws one towards net. It's blocked down, back to the point. Deskier shot tipped in front, saved down there by a defender, and Scherer almost stole it away in the slot. Down below the goal line. Motor with it now for the Hogs. Motor sends it along the boards. It's picked up there by Lutz in the corner. Lutz not able to get it to his man. He's tied up there, and the Cornhuskers look to break out. Arkansas on the puck, comes to the near side. Motor loses control of his footing there as McAtee steps into the zone. High circle shot is saved down, and Stanchfield sends it into the corner. Shot there by McAtee. This one's sent back along. McAtee on the puck. McAtee looking to load one up. 16.42 to go in the first period. Still 0-0. Near side board, it's held in here by the Cornhuskers. McAtee tries to tip it back along, a scrum for it, and here comes McAtee. Cam McAtee to the high circle, sticked off the puck there by Biankowski on the puck still. Looking for the cross-size pass, finds the skier, throws it through traffic, nice save there. We'll have another stoppage. Five shots for Arkansas early, and yet to record one are the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Three minutes, 35 seconds gone. This one's flipped into the air, and we're going to blow this dead. And a lot of confusion on the far side there as they'll get it straightened out. Sugaswar to take the face off against Andrew Hiller. Face off is won here by the Cornhuskers. And up the far side. Deskier trying to hold the line. That was LaPlante. Sends it to the near side corner now. Cornhuskers after it. He'll make a head fake and send it down the ice. LaPlante on the puck. He'll make a couple of fakes. Send it to Sugasuara on the near side. Sugasuara on the puck. Looking for the outlet pass. Finds the stick of a straw. Strata on the puck. Sends one to Sugasuara. Streaking into the zone. Sugasuara looking for a drop pass. Gets knocked off the puck there. Strata after it into the corner. A couple of guys tangled up. Among them is Ben Bergman. A shot there from Wilson, save down, rebound out front, rebound still there, lifted up into the air, nice save again. Couple of opportunities there for the Hogs, go begging. Back into the low slot now, this is LaPlante at the point, he fires a shot, that one on net. This one kicked into the corner, Arkansas after the puck again, they stick handle in the slot, trying to block down the pass, they do, but Estrada's after it now for the Hogs, and finally the Huskers clear it back to the blue line, it hits the stick of an Arkansas defender and they'll get a change. Romero hustling after it. 15, 18 to go in the first period. Up the near side, Arkansas with the majority of chances and that's an offside and we'll have a stoppage. We'll go back and take a look at that scramble in front. Arkansas with a couple chances there. Great job by Stanchfield as he's just keeping the pads flat down on the ice and keeps the puck out of the back of the net. Excellent play from the Cornhuskers goaltender. Arkansas's goaltender Reese has yet to see a puck. So I'll throw a few shot opportunities on net. This one down below the goal line. It's picked up there by Reese. Trying to play it back along. This one goes up and out of play as Yance was trying to play it out of the zone. Five minutes gone in the first. Nine shots already for Arkansas, but Nebraska on the better end of the faceoff bat. Yeah, they could use a faceoff win here. But unfortunately for them, they're going to pull it outside the zone. Uh, that's, yeah, that's unfortunate for the Huskers. Hopefully they can get something going here on the zone entry. Nebraska to take the face off. It's Hershey against Papua. This one's one back by Papua. Down into the zone, into the corner. Arkansas is going to pick it up there. Stick handling with it there is Odeline. Odeline waiting for an outlet pass. Nobody pressuring him. Finally sends it up the near side boards and checking up the icing there is Cruz. Cruz looking for the puck. It's finally taken off of his stick into the corner there by Lutz. Far side now, scrum for the puck. Arkansas. Trying to kick it to a stick there is Hewerman, and out of the zone come the Huskers, but a stick down at the blue line there by Hershey. That shot hit a skate and almost went on goal. Comes to the near side boards. Hershey looking for a man. Nebraska fighting to get out of their own zone right now, and Arkansas's forecheck has been smothering here early. Down to the corner now, Walter Brandt on the puck. Brandt sends one near side boards. Hewerman's going to pick it up. Hewerman looking to work it back into the corner and does. Arkansas holds the line again. Brandt up the near side, trying to get it out of the zone. Hewerman meets him there. Now fighting for it in the corner is Cruz. Cruz and Brandt along with Hewerman. Puck stuck in the corner, though, six minutes gone. 
Cruz finally comes away with it. Centering pass just missed the stick of Hershey. Back to the point now, McAtee. McAtee stick handling far side on the outer hash. Sends one near side now to Skier. Loads up a shot through traffic. Save down again by Stanchfield, and Arkansas records their 10th shot. I believe that's 10 to 0 in the shot category as we take another look at that one from the point. Good save by Stanchfield. Holds on, no rebound. But Arkansas spent most of the time in this offensive zone, and any time that Nebraska gets out of the zone, they're unable to penetrate Arkansas's end. And it's showing up on the shot so far. Luckily for them, not on the scoreboard yet. Arkansas loses this face off. And it's sent up the ice. Back the other way, chasing after it into the offensive zone is Cody Walters. Walters on the puck, but Arkansas steals it off of his stick. That's McAtee near side. Now Lott's looking to work it out of the zone. Far side boards, Arkansas trying to break out. Now down into the zone. A little bit of pressure here. That's Walters back below the goal line. Comes back out front, a dangerous opportunity there. Arkansas able to clear it out of the blue paint. Valentini shot low, kicked aside. Looked like that one was going wide, and it's going to be tipped back into the neutral zone. McAtee on it, sends it to the near side. It's held in here by Lotz. Lotz throws a shot, it's tipped up into the air by Miller. Jacob Miller trying to get on the puck on the near side. He's got a man there. Cornhuskers looking to work out of the zone again. Nebraska shut down again, though, by the Hogs. Arkansas stymie the outlet opportunities here for the Huskers early. Seven minutes, seven seconds gone. Near side boards, McAtee, a little inlet pass, finds his man, and Lotz gets tripped. No call, another man falling to the ice. That one under his own power, that was Valentini. Miller on the puck, though, for the Huskers. Sends it to the near side boards. Arkansas looking to hold it in, and they do. McAtee on it again. McAtee, outer hash, has a centering pass if he wants it. Skates in, fires a shot. That one high, hits the glass. McAtee has a man at the point. Arkansas looking for the puck. Far side boards, chip back into the zone. It's picked up there on the near side by Miller. He'll settle it down behind the cage. Far side boards tipped up and out of play, and we'll have another stoppage. Early pressure from Arkansas, but that's what they like to do, get the puck in deep and really start fast, and uh, they seem to have done that so far, putting a lot of shots up on Stanchfield, and Grady Reese thankful that the defense is playing so well out in front of him, having an easy night so far. Face off tied up one here by the Huskers as they'll flip this one off the board. Back to LaPlante at the point. He'll throw a shot towards the net. It's blocked down in front. Another shot wheeled towards the net. Nice save there. McLean getting his first of the game. Arkansas peppering. Stanchfield with shots. Another one as that one was heading high, but McLean gets it towards the net, and that's going to cause another stoppage. Yeah, just snatches that one out of the air. And another offensive zone faceoff for the Hogs. 8-2 to two in the faceoffs already for Nebraska, though. Patterson to take another one here against Hiller. Arkansas wins this one back. Oda line on it. He's going to look to throw a shot towards the net. Whiffs on it there. Sends one down below the goal line. Patterson after it, now chipping it along for Elliott. Elliott far side boards, looking to work it back along. A big hit loaded up on the far side. McLean able to hit his man. Losing the puck there is Oda line. A quick shot there. Their first of the game, and Reeves makes the save. That was Bergman, the first opportunity for the Huskers. Out of the zone, Arkansas able to send it back to neutralize. The Huskers going to turn it back the other way. Reese able to get a stick on it. LaPlante on it now, sends it up the far side boards. Quick outlet pass to the near side. Wilson streaking into the zone. He just can't quite beat it out, and they blow it dead. 11-21 to go in the first. Well, it's been a exciting action here in the early going. on the ensuing faceoff. Suga Suara wins it back. Now McAtee on the puck. Odeline with it. Sends it to the near side boards. Arkansas looking to break out of the zone into the neutral zone. This is Suga Suara. Makes a stick handling move around one to the low slot. Tried to pass one out front. Couldn't find his man. Worked back along the boards. Far side now picked up here by Walters. Walters. It's shut down there by Suga Suara. It's back behind the net. Picked up there by Bontius. Arkansas trying to fight for it in the low slot area, and here comes Nebraska out the other way. They'll flip one high over Reese's head into the zone. Yance after it there for Arkansas. 
He'll send one back below the goal line. Now McAtee looking to regroup, looks for the long outlet pass, sends a punt down to the other end and fielded there by Brandt. Able to glove it down to center ice, but Arkansas turns it back the other way. Here comes Yachts. Stick handling move around one. Bumped off the puck nicely there by Papua. Near side now. Out of the zone. Looks like Detna looks to work it out. And he has a man streaking towards the net into the offensive zone. A little stick handling move into the corner comes Thomas. Thomas gets knocked into the corner there by Wilson. Wilson, the captain for Arkansas, trying to shoo it along on the far side. Stuck there. Sugasawara digs it out momentarily. Jammed right back into the pile and finally comes clear back to central ice. 10.05 to go, shot there on net. They try to work it into the zone. Miller able to log a shot there. Far side now into the offensive zone, trying to work past the man's Hewerman. Hewerman looking for the centering pass, nobody home. Back to the point, has a man, Romero shot on net, rebound was there and Cruz took a stick up high, maybe a puck. Unclear, he was standing right in the dirty area. So Arkansas looks to get it away. Romero up the near side now. Looking for the outlet pass. Romero still on the puck. It's sticked off of it there by Walters. Behind the net, Hewerman. Oh, gets leveled. A huge hit laid on there by Nebraska. LaPlante going to take exception to that. He's got to be careful. Hewerman skating it up the ice across the red line, blue line, offensive zone. Lays a pass off. Hershey shot blocked down. Nice block there by Miller back the other way. Arkansas turning up the physicality, and we'll have an offside, delayed offside as that one gets up and out of play. Nine minutes, 10 seconds left in the first, and boy, it's back and forth action. Get a little physical out there as well with a couple of clean hits laid on, one by Nebraska, and then another one on the other end by Romero as he tried to stand a man up. Ensuing faceoff, one back here by Scherer. And Arkansas regroups in their own zone. Outlet pass near side, stolen away momentarily. Far side now, LaPlante on it. They'll send one up to center ice. Arkansas into the offensive zone. Lotz tries the centering pass. This one up high into the air. Finally settled down here by Scherer. Scherer on the puck. Centering pass there is booted up and out of play. Nice little kick there by Lotz. I don't think you can do that in hockey, though, so I'll blow the whistle and... Looks like they take the face off outside the zone for it. As he booted it up and out of play. Yep. Another face off here between Scherer and Hillard. This one's one ahead here by Arkansas. Trying to work it into the zones. Valentini near side now. Romero on the puck for Arkansas. Trying to work one along the boards. Banks one into the zone. Scherer on the puck. Sends one gingerly along. On the puck now in the corner are the Cornhuskers. Trying to work it out of the zone, but Arkansas on the puck again. Valentini looking to wheel a pass in front. He's shut down. Near side boards. Arkansas able to hold the neutral zone, and Lotz will just send this one back, and Arkansas is in retreat. 8.17 to go here in the first period. Near side boards. Lotz looking to work it out of the zone. Misses his pass. This one comes back to center ice, though, and Valentini wheels a shot. On oh, net rebound there. Arkansas can't put it home. McAtee will regroup at center ice. Good opportunity there for the Hogs as Valentini Working towards the net. This one far side now. McLean settles it down for the Hogs. He gets run into there by a Cornhusker. Motor centering pass has a man. Rebound there. Shot just missed the net. Oh, no. Patterson with an opportunity, and he couldn't put it home. Got the initial shot off, but couldn't quite finish the job. Into the zone come the Huskers. This one towards Reese. Trickling around behind the net, end over end. Finally picked up here by Patterson. Near side, stolen away. Down into the corner after it here. That's Detna. Detna sends Patterson on his way. Patterson able to leave the puck here for McAtee. And the sure stick McAtee finds his outlet pass. Far side, and McLean breaking into the zone. Backhanded pass. Has his man shot wide of the net. Motor with an opportunity to get his third of the year. Back into the zone, and they'll call that one offside. Couldn't quite hold the line. Was disgeared. Arkansas with multiple opportunities. We'll take a look at one there. Just a nice pass. Out in front, just that blind backhand pass right on the stick as Stanchfield tried to get it poked away, but nice recovery and a nice save there to keep this a 0-0 game. Near side boards, Arkansas looking to break into the zone. McAtee sends this one down. After it there is going to be Miller. Miller tries to find his man on the outlet. Arkansas can't quite hold the line, though, and McAtee will regroup. 6.57 to go. 
The first period of action, still 0-0. Inlet pass, looking for Wilson. Wilson chips it around a man. After it in the corner, there's Biankowski. Centering pass, couldn't stuff it home was Romero. Wilson on the puck. Finds Romero below the goal line. Another centering pass blindly in front. Finds Sugasawara on the back post and he scores! Sugasawara from Wilson in Estrada and Arkansas is on the board early. Let's take another look at that goal. Nice pass. Wilson gets it right in front. Sugasawara with his whole family here. Just finds the back of the net, and Arkansas finds an early one to nothing lead with just 6.39 remaining in this first period of play. Good start here for the Razorbacks. Odeline on the puck here for Arkansas. And the ensuing faceoff, an outlet pass looking like it's going to find its way on goal. Little line sending it all the way down the ice. Arkansas with their first goal after an onslaught of shots here early. Unofficially 17 to 2. Face off one back. Sent to the far side boards. Arkansas looking to Hold the line, can't quite do it this time. Walters back the other direction into the zone offside. Just ahead of the play there was Bontius. Ooh, close call there. Nice outlet pass. Just ahead of it and a good offside call. Well, faceoff will come back in front of us here on the right side. It'll be Hershey to take it for Arkansas. This one's one back again by Bontu, sends it up the near side boards. Arkansas looking to hold the line, they can't. Trying to retreat now after the puck, this is Odeline. He'll bump one to the far side, trying to work it out of the zone. Hershey's on the puck now, he'll bank one in. It hits a referee and checks up for Hershey. Hershey's still on the puck, whips a shot high of the net, comes to the near side boards. The Hogs all over the Huskers here early, one to nothing. Down into the zone. Arkansas are looking to get it away here. Far side boards. It's going to be picked up here by Arkansas. LaPlante on the puck, blue line. So this one's tipped down towards goal, and it's going to be smothered up there by Stanchfield. Kind of a lull in the period here after the goal. A little bit of back and forth action. Cruz pressuring there. Can't say enough about the improvement that Kyle Cruz has made, though. Yeah, he's a hustler, that's for sure. And it. Uh May not show up on the score sheet a whole lot, but definitely makes a big impact on his team and able to get a goal last weekend. Hershey to take the ensuing face off to the left of Stanchfield, one back here by Arkansas. Up the near side, Romero tries to dump it back in. He'll take a hit there from Bergman. It's down to the far side corner, and here come the Huskers. Outlet pass, looking for Bergman. Bergman, the right-handed stick across the blue line, has a man streaking into the zone with him. That's Hiller, centering pass. is stick down there by LaPlante. LaPlante turning move in the corner, finds Cruz. Cruz on the puck, looking for LaPlante far side and does. Near side boards now, Hershey looking for the outlet pass, has Cruz streaking in the center. Centering pass, nice job there by Biankowski to shut that play down. Back behind the net, Reese plays it down for LaPlante. LaPlante loses the puck behind the net, picked up here by Hiller. Hiller, centering pass, has a man out front. Good job there by LaPlante, making up for his mistake. Cruz back to center ice, and this one's booted back into the Huskers zone. 4.46 to go in the period. On the puck now, that's Detna. Detna looking for the outlet, finds a man. And Nebraska regroups. Near side boards, Romero. Looking to bank this one back behind the net. Sends one dangerously out front of the net. Actie able to steer it clear back down the ice. Miller on the puck now. Miller sends this one back down the ice, and there's going to be no icing. Arkansas has to regroup again. All the way back and forth. They're just throwing it back and forth at each other. This one down and on goal. Arkansas behind the net. McAtee on the puck. Lots with the turning move in the corner. He'll send one back along. Share after the puck now. Valentini with it. Valentini sends one back along the board. It's going to be picked up in the corner there. Arkansas looking for the puck. It's finally stolen off a stick and sent up the near side boards. The Huskers out of the zone. Arkansas shutting them down again. Almost a neutral zone trap from Arkansas as they're setting it up. 
and the Huskers were running right into it. One to nothing, Arkansas leads. McAtee on the puck. McAtee, stick handily move around one into the offensive zone onside. McAtee, a stick handily move again, and the Huskers have an outlet pass. That one's shut down, though, by Scherer. Scherer on the puck now for Arkansas, and it's picked up here by Walters, and he'll dump it around the boards. Far side now, Valentini on it. Backhands a pass along, gets shut down, and Valentini's able to chip and chase after it. Valentini avoids a huge hit, and it's going to be picked up offside. They'll blow it dead. A lot of back and forth action, 3.18 to go in the first. Arkansas nursing that one goal lead, but have had most of the scoring chances so far. Space off one back here by Bontius. He'll just dump it into the zone. Odeline after it, finds Jantz on the far side. Jantz looking for the outlet pass, has a man near side, and Motor just dumps it in for the Hawks. Motor after the puck. Looking for it in the corner now, Patterson. He'll try to dig it out of there as we cross the three minute mark to go in this first period. Down in the corner. Arkansas can't dig it out of there and out the other way come the Huskers. Far side board shot, stick to side. Nicely done there by Reese to make a save. Got to stay on his toes back there. Arkansas back the other way. Patterson drops a pass off, looking for McLean. Patterson near side boards looking for Odeline. Odeline on the near side. Odeline trying to glove it down, but back the other way come the Huskers. Trying to work it into the zone. Arkansas able to take it off of their stick. Motor and outlet pass. It's the heel of Patterson's stick. And the Huskers regroup again. Back to the blue line. Arkansas dumps it back in. And the Huskers regroup. On the puck now. Tipped into the zone. Arkansas after it. Behind the net now. Reese comes out to play it. Reese is on the puck. Sends one to Odeline. Odeline drop pass there. He'll pick it back up across the red line into the offensive zone. Arkansas goes for a change. A little drop pass there. Slapping at it. Patterson finds Odeline again. Odeline below the goal line. Looking for Patterson. Sends it to the far side instead. Loading it up there is Wilson for Estrada in front. And that one's chipped up high and easily saved down there by Stansfield. Arkansas with the early lead in the shot category and the early lead on the scoreboard. Yeah, and Stansfield seems like he's perfectly content to cover up that puck and hold on anytime it comes near him. Uh, and it's given Arkansas a couple of chances uh, in the offensive zone, but they do trail in faceoffs, 11 to 8. They could use one here as they try to tack on another goal in the final minute 55 of this first period. Sugaswara to take it for Arkansas. It's tied up there and finally taken aside there by Estrada. Back to the point. LaPlante banks a pass off. The Huskers get the better of it, and they send it the other way. Uh, check up and offside, but Suga Sawara with a head of steam into the offensive zone, loads up a shot, that stick down in front and out of play. Sean Rogers with the block shot. I love when Suga Sawara turns those jets on, man. He knew the rest of his team was in the middle of a change and he was going to get that puck deep and does it once again in another offensive zone faceoff here for the Hogs. On the right side this time, Wilson to take it. One back by Wilson, but Arkansas can't hold the line. Back the other way comes Romero. Romero drops a pass off, 135 to go in the period. On the puck now is Arkansas into the offensive zone. Far side, Sugasawara on it. Sugasawara trying to work it back along. It's picked up on the near side now by Miller. Miller, stick handles, finds an outlet pass and streaking ahead into the offensive zone. A shot there on net. That one's steered aside by Reese. Another centering pass, a good opportunity for the Huskers. Near side corner comes Detna. Hill, Detna on the ice. Along with Papur, centering pass there taken away. And here comes Sugasawara back the other direction on the outlet pass there from LaPlante. Sugasawara on it, looking for the centering pass. Doesn't have a man there. Hewerman now on it for Arkansas as they're going to be in the middle of a change. 54 seconds to go in the period. Far side boards. Brendan Hill to pick this puck up. Hill being pressured in the corner. Arkansas trying to chip it out of there. Wilson takes a hit up high. Arkansas. Not able to come away with the puck. Send along to the near side boards. Hewerman, Hershey. Back to Hewerman. Romero over there now. A couple of Huskers trying to pick at the puck. Romero holds the line, sends it back into the zone. 25 seconds to go. Behind the net now. Picked up here by Miller. Miller absorbs the hit from Hewerman. Arkansas holds the line, though. Has an opportunity. 17 seconds to go in the period. This one's chipped back out toward the blue line. And they'll blow it dead for an offside. Back and forth action again, 13 seconds to go in the period. We'll take a look at it. the chance on the other side. Nice job getting deep into the zone, but a good block there in front by LaPlante to send that puck wide. Hershey to take the ensuing faceoff. 
Ian's Matthews. Like a bit of a false start there. They'll reset him. This one's won over by Hershey, and that one's up and out of play. Another stoppage, nine seconds to go in the period. Starting to get a little bit chippy down there, but it's been a clean game so far. Neither team getting a penalty thus far. Now Arkansas has spent plenty of time in the box this season. I know Coach Sims texted me last weekend when he was out of town <laughs> having a couple of twins. I should say one set of twins, two people. One back here by Hershey. Seven seconds to go in the period. Stick handling and looking to run out the period is Deskier. Three seconds to go, far side, and Hewerman hangs on. A good first period for the Hogs. They lead this one one to nothing on the goal by Griffin Sugasawara. And really have controlled much of this game. Spent a lot of time in front of the Huskers goaltender, Stanchfield, and really Grady Reese on the other side hasn't seen a whole lot of action yet. Yeah, and Arkansas has looked to be the better team for the most part of this period. And like we said, it's really that four check. Arkansas has been employing that four check in the first period, it seems like, all season long. And that's been one of the calling cards for this Razorbacks team and they employ it here and it does result in a goal for your Razorbacks. Meanwhile on the other end of the ice though, Bennett Stanchfield is the story. Only giving up one goal on 17 shots there by Arkansas. Has a 940 save percentage going into the second period. Yeah, they're definitely making him work on the other end and he's looked great so far. Like I said earlier in the period, he's willing to cover up anything that's near him. Hasn't given up uh, a whole lot of rebounds. There have been a few that have sat on the doorstep but the defense out in front of him is doing a good job clearing out those rebounds, not allowing Arkansas those second chance opportunities. Well, your Arkansas Razorbacks do cling to a one goal lead heading into this first intermission. Don't go anywhere though. Arkansas will be back for the second period in about 15 minutes.
we're back here at the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas. Alongside me is Jonah Story. My name's EJ Sanders as we get ready for the intermission report here. Arkansas off to a hot start, 17 to five in the shooting department, 11 to 11 in the faceoff department. And Arkansas does lead on the scoreboard by a score of one to nothing. And let's take a look at that goal, Jonah. Technical difficulty as we try to get this goal pulled up for you, but yeah, Arkansas did score in this period. Sugasawara scored the goal. Wilson and Estrada on the assist. Here it is out front. Sugasawara just finishing it off the opportunity there, Jonah. Beautiful goal. You know, the Arkansas Razorbacks had a lot of opportunities in the first period. That was the first one that they buried. Yeah, and it was a play, hard, hard hustle in the corner. That's exactly what Arkansas has been doing all game long. The four check generating opportunities. Looked like the Cornhuskers were about to break out. Estrada went and dug it out of the corner, sent it back out front, and Sugasawara was able to finish that one off. But Arkansas has been the better team so far. What do they need to do here in this second period to keep that up? You know, uh, they've done a great job at it so far, but they just need to stay out of the box and yeah. just keep playing this good, clean game. And when the Razorbacks play a good, clean game, they progress very far. Yeah, meanwhile, on the other side, they're getting spectacular goaltending from Bennett Stanchfield. He's got to keep it up here in the second period. What do you say? If Arkansas wants to bring the pressure to him, they're going to have to create a flurry of shots right in front of the net, just like the one they had a score on. Arkansas did have a chance at two, but the Nebraska goaltender did put a glove onto it. Yeah, Stansfield's been amazing tonight. Uh, he was listed as the captain on their website, and we saw why in that first period. But your Arkansas Razorbacks will be back out on the ice here shortly. Don't go anywhere. Your Hogs lead one to nothing. We're back here at the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas. Alongside me is Corey Porter and Jonah Story. My name's EJ Sanders. As we get set to go for the second period of action, Arkansas does lead by a score of one to nothing. That goal courtesy of Griffin Sugasawar, as we saw in the intermission report. Arkansas going with their backup goaltender tonight, and he's looked sharp so far, saving all five opportunities. He's faced. Yeah, it's hard to say you look sharp when you're only seeing five shots, but uh, it can get tough at times, especially when there's a lull in action and all of a sudden they come rushing down the other end, and that's what it's been from Nebraska. Really not a whole lot of sustained offensive zone pressure, a lot of one and done, just getting it in, maybe getting a shot away, but Arkansas has done a good job on defense as well and really stymieing that breakout of the Cornhuskers, not allowing them to get out of the zone uh, with a couple of guys in the rush. You know, they're, they're making it difficult for them, and it's showing up on the scoreboard, uh, both in, in shots as well as the score. Arkansas with the lone goal so far. We get set to go here in the second period. Both teams getting ready for the long change period. We like to call it the short change here at the Jones Center, the shorter ice. And your face-off circle nearly touches both blue lines. 
I know you guys talked about it in the intermission, but a clean game so far. No penalties, but in a close game and a, a close game against two evenly matched teams, you start to see that uh, that pride come out, that little bit of chippiness, and uh, especially if you're the Cornhuskers trying to claw your way back into it, look for the physicality to increase here in the second period. Ace off at center ice. This one's going to be won back by Arkansas as Bontus not able to take that one away. Arkansas with the puck here early. Estrada, the breakout pass across the red line. Here comes Sugasawara, throws a shot block down in front. Nice block there by Lutz. Arkansas still on the puck, sends it back towards the blue line. Sugasawara not able to handle it back the other way. Here comes Bontus. Outlet pass far side. McAtee able to gather it in. McAtee. Sends one hard off the boards, comes fluttering back to the blue line, held in, shot blocked down there by Sugasawara. Near side boards, outlet pass, looking for Sugasawara up the near side boards. Sugasawara fighting with his man along the boards, picked up there by Sugasawara, centering pass there. As Estrada not able to send it on net. Back to the point, McAtee shot rocketed wide. Near side now, picked up here by Deskier. Looking for the bank pass, far side, dangerous pass, back the other way, here comes Nebraska. Walters into the offensive zone and offside was Nathan Weber. Oh no, blew an excellent two on one opportunity. Yeah, that's the second time that's happened for Nebraska. Uh, I don't know about that. Close call, take one more look at it. Here's the puck right on the face off dot. Ah, it looks on to me. Tough break for the Huskers. This one into the zone. Romero on the puck, tries to chip it back ahead. Spilled into the boards there. Arkansas not able to come away with the puck, and we'll have a reset here on the faceoff. Yeah, Nebraska had a chance in the first period at a two-on-one as well. That ended in an offside call. Arkansas able to regain the advantage in the faceoff circle momentarily. This one's won back again by Hershey. Hershey's been excellent today on faceoffs. Arkansas retreats on the puck now. LaPlante outlet pass is blocked down. Huskers trying to turn it back into the zone. Cruz sends one back for Romero. Romero on the puck. Romero sends one along. It's stolen away. Arkansas blocks it back to the blue line, trying to stick it ahead as Cruz. He gets tripped up on the play. No call. Back the other way. This is Biankowski. He's on it. Sends it to the near side boards. Arkansas gloves it down at the blue line. A little chip pass there from LaPlante. LaPlante trying to work it back along down in the corner. Huberman's pass finds Hershey. Hershey back to the point, finds LaPlante. LaPlante throws one through traffic, stick down in front there by Cruz. Blocked his own man's shot. Far side now Romero pinching down. Outlet pass held in there by Romero, and he'll flip one towards the net, and it's gloved down, and we'll have a stoppage. Stanchfield has been good so far. Only one goal on the 17 opportunities Arkansas sent his way. Yeah, he's looked, looked good, but he's got to get a little bit of help from the guys out in front of him, relieve some of that pressure he's seen. Base off will be to his left. Papur to take it. And he'll win it back. Near side boards, Arkansas trying to hold the line again. On the far side now, here comes Detna. Detna's outlet pass. He gets upended there by Lotz. Lotz has to check up the offside. Share as well. Down into the zone, here comes Arkansas. They're streaking at the puck now, trying to regroup as Thomas. Far side, Arkansas can't find the puck as it finds its way through everybody. Odeline on the puck for Arkansas. Outlet pass, banked down. Detna had it for a second. Now Valentini on the breakout, a one on two the other way. He gets hit there by Hill. Arkansas trying to pressure it into the zone. Can't quite get it all the way in, but Odeline had a pass in front looking for Scherer. Arkansas on it again. Lots wheels one back along, finds Valentini, centering pass, missed the stick of Scherer all the way back down the ice, Reese out of his net to play it. And Nebraska will get a change. Two minutes, 45 seconds gone, near side boards, here comes Odeline, banks one near side now, Arkansas into the offensive zone, this is Patterson. Patterson, high slot shot, save, rebound there and thrown back towards the net by Odeline. Boy, Patterson had an opportunity to make this two to nothing. Yeah, just steps in right behind Lots, gets the shot away. High slot shot, nice shoulder save there by Stanchfield. And we'll have a face off to his right. Patterson to take it for Arkansas. This one's tied up. Arkansas able to come away with it. McLean works it back to the point. With the skier through traffic, tipped wide of the net. Far side boards picked up there by Walters. Outlet pass is going to find the stick of Bontius. Justin Bontius gets stood up there by the skier. The skier 
Trying to find the puck, loses it to Bontus. Back in an opportunity in front. Arkansas able to steer it to the near side boards. Bontus again, another centering pass. Sticked off it there was Nathan Weber. Arkansas with it again. With a head of steam back the other way comes McAtee. McAtee through traffic, offensive zone. That pass finds its way across to Elliott. Elliott centering pass hit the stick of the goaltender, and McLean's shot goes wide. Chair on it again, looking to wrap it around. Throws it off the back of the goaltender. Stays out of the net. Patterson on it again, far side. Finds his man, that's McAtee at the point. Works it back down into the corner after it. There's Brant. Brant can't find the puck, now McLean on it. McLean has to skier at the point, works it to him. Right-handed stick, backhands, far side, now McAtee. Four minutes, crossing now and back the other way, and a breakaway, here comes Cody Walters. Back checking hard to skier. He fires a shot off the side of the net, and a big hit by Deskier on the back check. Arkansas trying to pressure it ahead. Nice holding the line there by Brant. Brant works it into the corner, and after it, there's Deskier again. He's tied up there by Weber, Arkansas. Trying to get it out of their own zone. Weber knocked down in the corner. Far side now finds Elliott. Elliott looking to break out, and he finds his man. This is McLean. He'll send one down on goal. That one's gloved down and sent aside. Near side boards. Into the zone comes Urbans. He's on LaPlante. Worked back along. Romero has to work by his own man as Wilson went spilling to the ice into the boards. Urbans on the puck. Arkansas comes away with it. This is LaPlante. LaPlante. Lifts one towards center ice. This one's going to come all the way down. And they're going to blow it dead for an icing. Arkansas not happy with that, but that's the call. 15-16 to go in the second. Go back to the chance here. Just tried to beat him short side, and this was after McAtee made the mistake at his own blue line. No harm, no foul. Arkansas still leads this one one to nothing. Off one back here by Arkansas. They're looking to work it out of the zone. Wilson sticks at it there, comes back into the corner. LaPlante hard off the boards, held in here by the Huskers. Locked up between two Huskers players, and it finally comes free to Sugasawara. Sugasawara, outlet pass far side into the zone, comes Wilson. Wilson has a strata streaking to the net, shot saved out of the air. Another shot towards the net, kicked aside. Romero with an opportunity, couldn't stick it home. Outlet pass. Held on to here by Suga Sawara. He's turned around by his man. Near side boards, 14.45 to go in the second. After the puck, into the near side corner. That's Bienkowski. Centering pass, locked up with a man. Another shot towards the net. Reese out of position, but wide of the net. Romero can't hold the line. Sorry, Estrada. Out of the zone, here comes LaPlante. LaPlante has a man in the center. LaPlante throws a shot. It's blocked down nicely there by Detna. Arkansas back out front. Estrada tried to load one up. Sugasawara to Cruz throws a knuckler towards net. It's finally banked all the way down the ice. Arkansas is going to be the first one to it. They're going to wave off the icing. Detna able to get to the goal line first. Yachts behind the net for Arkansas. Near side boards. Cruz on the puck now. Cruz looking for the outlet pass. Instead takes it himself. Offensive zone. Cruz after it again. Cruz gets knocked off the puck there by Brandt. Far side boards, now Odeline. Odeline tipped back into the zone, finds Hershey. Hershey backhand pass is stolen away, and here come the Huskers. Back the other way, Yance on the back check, able to steer it aside to the near side boards, and Arkansas looks to break in again. A two on two on the other way. Hewerman shot up high, and that one's just whistled over the glove of Stanchfield. Far side boards, Arkansas trying to hold the line. They do. They'll flip one end over end, near side corner. Six and a half minutes gone. Outlet pass has a man streaking towards the net. Here comes Nebraska on the break shot score. That was Caden Davis. And Nebraska's on the board. And just like that, we have a tie game. So we take another look at that. Another breakaway. Just a wrist shot. Beats him low, stick side. Nebraska's had a couple of chances that look just like this. They finally capitalize on one and even this game at one apiece. Look like Papour on the outlet pass found his man. And Walter's able to bury it. Arkansas on the puck now. McAtee a turning move behind the net. One to one. Cornhuskers able to tie it up to make this a Ball game here at the Jones Center. Here's Scherer, high slot shot fired wide. Another shot sticked aside there by Valentini. Valentini in the corner, throws another one towards the net. That was McAtee, comes to the near side. Huskers looking to break out again, trying to get behind this Arkansas defense. Arkansas likes to pinch up to that blue line. Brant on the puck now for the Huskers. 
Grant works one into the offensive zone. This is Bontus on the puck. Bontus trying to work his way by. Throws one towards the net. Arkansas able to keep it out of the blue paint momentarily. Behind the net, Deskier has a man on the far side, and Loth is going to work it out of the zone. He gets loaded up, spins around a man, and here comes Scherer. Offensive zone, Scherer loading up another shot wide, wide of the net again. Valentini, far side, finds Scherer. Scherer, centering pass, looking for Lotz. Lotz has a man at the point, dumps it in instead. Valentini after it behind the Nebraska cage. Pinched there by Brant, picked up here by Bontius. Bontius, outlet pass, far side. Bontius sticks one down. This one's dumped back towards the net. Arkansas trying to kick the puck out of danger. Scherer and LaPlante dump it back into the zone. Brant on a long shift here. Eight minutes gone here in the second period, a one-to-one -one game. Arkansas keeping the pressure up. Valentini after the puck again. Valentini stood up there by Bontius. In the corner now, puck comes free. Far side now, goal scorer, that's Davis. Trying to work it out of the zone, and LaPlante a little shove after the play. Valentini inadvertent. LaPlante wanting to mix it up there with Bontius. He's got to be careful. Eight minutes, 10 seconds gone. That's yeah, crazy how number 12 finds himself in the middle of every single one of those. And a little pushing and shoving, but nothing egregious. And we'll get a face off. Well, Arkansas winning in the shot category, up 22 to seven, but it's one to one on the scoreboard. And right now it's thanks to Bennett Stanchfield. Tied up here, Arkansas tries to work it into the zone and do. McLean throws a shot towards the net, blocked down nicely in front there by Lutz. Far side boards, Romero can't hold the line. Near side now, they're gonna break into the zone. Here come the Hogs. Far side now, they'll dump one in. And it crosses the goal line for an icing. All right. Back to the other end we go. 11.29 to go, second period of action. Feels like whatever team is taking control in the faceoff dot is losing control of the game. That's Arkansas right now. Near side now, they'll win this one. Patterson flips one back to center ice. After it there, into his own zone is Bontus. This is Nick Bontus. Nick, near side, looking to work it out. This one's flipped up back to center ice. LaPlante hustling after it there. Moves his skates in line, and he'll send one to the far side. Romero sends one up the ice. No icing here as it checks up. Patterson right in the hip pocket of his man. Motor after it now for Arkansas. Motor centering pass there, blocked down. Bontus in the corner. He gets in, up into there. It's McLean, Patterson both after the puck. Bontu's trying to make himself involved. Romero throws a shot through traffic, saved. Nice save again by Stansfield. As Romero tried to work it through. A good screen in front by Motor. But Stansfield able to see that one all the way and holds on for the whistle on Estrada's shot from the point. Pop forward to take the face off against Wilson. This one's won by Papour ahead. Arkansas trying to hold the line. They can't. Yance after it, but Sugasawara gets the puck back for Arkansas. Down into the corner. Arkansas after the puck. Near side now. Arkansas trying to work it back along. Be picked up there by Romero. He gets sticked off the puck. Centering pass goes up into the air. Arkansas fighting for it. Comes whistling to the near side. And out of the zone comes Hill. Hill finds an outlet pass into the zone. Here comes Detna. Detna to Hill. Shot is saved. Nice save there. And Reese is on his toes. Good rush there for Nebraska. Just splits the defense there. Able to get a nice shot away, but puts it right into Reese's belly. That's tight space they're working in down there. Sugasawara to take the face off here against Papur. This one's one back by Papur. Has a man Hill shot saved again. Back to the point. Arkansas trying to work it out of the zone. Held in at the blue line. Hill with the puck. Hill gets knocked off of it. Here comes Estrada the other way. Inlet pass finds Wilson. Wilson loads up a shot blocked high. Stays in play, though. Sugasawara back to the point. Yance's shot right into the catcher's mitt. And we'll have another stoppage. Nine minutes, 55 seconds gone in the second. Yeah. Arkansas able to get the puck deep. And another freeze. Face off one back here, Strata. 
as Deskier. Deskier looking for the back post pass as McAtee was working towards the net. Another shot through traffic, easy save. Not quite through the traffic I thought was there. We'll have another stoppage. A clear shooting lane for Deskier. Another routine save for Stanchfield. Face off one back by Wilson, back to the point. McAtee locked down in front of him, and that one goes out of play. That's been a staple of this Arkansas offense to have their defensemen really run the, uh, the show from the point, and they got some good ones back there doing it in Deskier and McAtee right now. Face off one back again by Wilson to the point. Arkansas wheels one near side, stolen away, and here comes Weber. Outlet pass has his man far side. Arkansas able to back check just enough, and Estrada turns it back into the offensive zone. Estrada stick handling through the traffic. Estrada trying to turn it back on net. Estrada far side now. Goes all the way around the world with it. Wilson stick handles through one. Wilson the leading point getter for Arkansas coming into this weekend. Nine and a half minutes to go in the period. Back post pass is stick down in front and out come the Huskers. Pontius to center ice. He's sticked off of it momentarily by one defender. His shot saved there. Nice job there by Reese as this one comes back out of the zone. Trickles out to center ice. Brandt will dump it in. Huskers still don't want to change. This is McAtee on the puck. McAtee looking to circle it back around in his own zone with 9.05 to go in the period. Into the zone, McAtee all alone. McAtee sends one back around the boards to his number counterpart. That was Brandt. Hewerman on the puck now for Arkansas. He's tied up there with Bontius. Justin Bontius trying to get a come away with the puck. Sends it to the far side. Trying to hold the line is Romero, but he'll have to retreat. Goes off a linesman skate. Back the other way into the offensive zone. Shot saved by Reese. Boy, Bergman with an opportunity. Arkansas. Trying to work it back out, skated along here by Nebraska, whiffing on the puck there. As Arkansas works it into the zone, this is Hershey. Hershey, backhand pass, Hewerman below the goal line. Hewerman with the puck, looking for the point pass, has him, that's Romero. Romero, back to Hewerman. Hewerman, high circle, stick handles. Shot blocked down there. Looked like it got sticked aside by Hiller, and back the other way come the Huskers. Dumped into the zone there by Bergman. Out of the net to play, it's Reese. 8-12 to go in the period. Arkansas on it near side. Looking to work it into the zone. Far side now, Cruz just throws one back around the boards. Comes fluttering along to the near side. It's going to be picked up here by Urbans. Urbans on the puck again. Outlet pass. Can't be sticked down by Romero. He's caught kneeling there as Valentini's on the puck now for Arkansas. LaPlante's long outlet pass comes all the way down. They're going to blow it dead for icing. Miller the first to the puck. And with 12 minutes, 12 seconds gone, Arkansas still with limited opportunities in this period. Go back. And look at that near breakaway. Arkansas has given up several of these where they've let in the, ne the Nebraska offense get behind them. One of them has led to a goal so far and almost led to another one there, but a good save by Reese as he snatches another one. Mm -hmm. Shot off the face off there by Miller. Share to take the Face off to the right of his goaltender, Reese. Sure. Off to a tough start in the face off circle tonight. Only won three of seven, and he'll lose another one there, three of eight. Into the corner, Pop Poor has been great in the face off circle. Arkansas looking to work it out of the zone. It's sent back along, almost hit the emergency goaltender on the bench there. As into the zone comes Valentini. Head of steam, throws one on net. He's upended for his effort. Sent back out of the zone. Back the other way come the Huskers. Loading up a shot, stick down nicely. Scherer in the corner now, trying to work on Detna, who works it back out front off the side of the net, centering pass. Arkansas able to clear it aside, near side now, McAtee. McAtee looking to work it out of the zone. Sorry, that's Yance. Christian Yance into the zone, and Arkansas is after the puck again. Blind pass to the near side, having to scramble for it there is Biankowski. And out of the zone comes Papua. Arkansas. Up ending a man. Got to check up the offside. Our the Huskers is Odeline getting a little frustrated over there. Got to be careful with the stick. Yance into the zone. Stick handling. Leaves the pass here. Valentini shot saved again. Couple of shots for Valentini on that shift. And none come to fruition. Yeah, nice little play by Yance. Able to get the drop pass to Valentini in the traffic. Quick shot and a good save by Stanchfield. Valentini leading the Razorbacks in shots so far. 
four of his own. On net, but not in the goal. Back to the point. This one takes an awkward bounce off a stanchion. Back to the point, another shot wide of the net. Comes to the near side boards. Arkansas after the puck there. Elliott after it for Arkansas. Arkansas trying to win the puck, but can't quite do so. As it comes back out towards neutral ice. Arkansas does hold the line momentarily. Far side now, Rogers sends one across. Outlet pass, has a man streaking towards the net. They're not gonna blow this one for offside. And they finally do. Yeah, and they're gonna take this one all the way down. He was well ahead of the play there. And that's something Nebraska has been trying to do, hit that Hail Mary pass and just try to sneak somebody behind this Arkansas defense. It's worked for them so far. I'm sure they'll continue to try to do so. Wilson to take the face off for Arkansas. He's the right side face off guy for this top line. Sugasawara the left side face off guy. This one's won back there by Bontius, making, rendering both of them useless there. It's all the way down. Reese plays it easily aside. Deskier on the puck now with 14 minutes gone. Deskier, backhand pass, lazily along, finds McAtee. McAtee's going to regroup for the Hogs. McAtee on the puck. We're going to work it out of the zone. Far side now, Sugasuara sticks it ahead. Grant after it, since it's the near side. Rogers can't quite find that puck. Outlet pass here is stolen away by Wilson. Wilson into the high slot, has Estrada, throws a shot, bounding toward the net, and it gets steered aside wide by one of the Huskers' defenders. McAtee plays shortstop, keeps that one in, shoots and scores! Unassisted, Cam McAtee. Go back and take a look at that one, just gloving it to himself. And a snipe shot. Looks like he beat him stick side, steps into the high slot. And he finds the back of the net, and Arkansas leads this one two to one. Off the post and in the net. NHL 94 style, Arkansas ready to go here on the ensuing faceoff. Patterson wins that one back. Arkansas dumps one along, they'll wave off the icing. Down into the corner. Huskers looking to work it out of the zone. Arkansas with the two to one lead. All of a sudden, another shot blocked down through traffic. Picked up by the Huskers. The outlet pass blocked down though by Arkansas. Arkansas's turned up the intensity here in the second period. Janssen sends it back into the zone. Patterson checks up the offside. Below the goal line, now here come the Huskers. Jans able to hold the line again in a melee of men just all clashing together there. Another shot there towards net. Reese steers that one aside. Hiller not able to put it past him. This puck is still loose, far side now. Hits the skates of the referee. Trying to wheel it back towards the net. Arkansas still on it. Outlet pass, has a man streaking. This is McLean. He has a man on a drop pass. Tries to send it across. Nice job by Nick Pontius. It's the far side, another hit laid on. Odeline goes up the aggressiveness, and that's a bad Ooh. hit by McLean. Dangerous hit into the boards by Trevor McLean. Yeah, and his teammates are in there protecting him, and I would be too. Not really McLean's game to do something like that. Obviously unintentional, and you know he's uh, he's regretting that. But appears everybody's up and okay. And it appears that Nebraska will go on their first power play. 15-29 mark of this second period. We'll see how Take many a look at that hit now that we know everybody's okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely from behind. We'll see if that warrants anything more than two minutes. It would be a five minute major. McLean is off the ice. He is skating to the locker room. Now with only 4.30 remaining in the second. Unable to tell if he's out for the re remainder of the game or just well, 10 minutes. On a, on a physical penalty like that, you, it's, a, it's a remainder of the game foul. We'll see if it's a major penalty, though, for the cross check. Either, either way, it's going to be an excellent opportunity for Nebraska to try to get that equalizing goal. First power play of the game. And it will be five minutes up on the board for McLean. And Nebraska with a five minute power play. That 
that's uh, one of the things they do is they put stop signs on the back of youth uniforms. And, uh, I think McLean just blew the stop sign there, and that's going to cost them five minutes as team five minutes. It might be the rest of the game for McLean. We'll get an update for you there. He might have just gone to the locker room because it's a major penalty with five minutes left. He can't, can't find his way out of the box for the remainder of this period. We might see him back on the ice in the, uh, in the third. They're still discussing it over on the bench. Coach Sims is speaking to the referee of record tonight. That's Chip XL. Four thirty-one to go in the second. Arkansas now at a major disadvantage for five minutes. It'll be the rest of this period. If they can hold them off the board for four and a half minutes, Corey, it's going to be a major win for this Arkansas team. Face off one back here by the Huskers. Back to the point, trying to send it back along. Arkansas tying it up in the corner. It's finally picked up here, sent back to the near side. Long power play. Arkansas steals it away. That's Cruz. Cruz able to stick that one aside and look for the breakout. Another shot through traffic saved. Nice job there as Hill's shot goes begging. Deskier in the corner. Picked up there by Bontius. Bontius on the puck, and Arkansas sends it down the ice. Arkansas trying to rest those legs. They're not hustling towards the back of the net, unless you're Kyle Cruz, of course. On it now into the zone, and Deskier has it. He sends it back down the ice. Cruz is after it onside. This one all the way down, having to play it there is Stanchfield, Arkansas. Can't quite get the puck, though, and they'll steal it away again at center ice, and McAtee with the turning move. McAtee just wants to skate out some time. 3.42 to go in the second period. Arkansas with a man disadvantage for five minutes. Nebraska on the five on four. This one's sent ahead. Cruz still on the ice. Arkansas is going to do long shifts here with their PK unit. Hershey, Cruz still on the ice along with Deskier and McAtee. They've been out there the whole time. Along the boards, McAtee loads one up, and here comes Cruz after the puck again. Cruz looking towards the bench and wanting a change. Cruz pressuring the puck so Deskier can get one. Near side now. Out of the zone comes Hill. Hill just out of his reach, just on side into the zone. That's Detna. Detna throws a pass to the center. Trickles over the stick of Hill near side now. McAtee. McAtee on in the hip pocket of Bontius. Justin Bontius back to the point. Looking for his man, but Cruz skates away with it. Screw Cruz. The stopping move. A little stick handling move around one. Still with the puck. Centering pass there. Looking for Hershey on the back post. Brant is tired now. He's been out there for a while on the power play unit. Arkansas near side boards. Odeline content with taking this one back. Back pass finds Romero. 2.39 to go in the period. Far side sent all the way down the ice again. 2.33 to go in the period. Back behind the net now and regrouping are the Huskers. Valentini gets his stick taken right out of his hands on the back check there by Bergman. Four on three the other way into the offensive zone. Here come the Huskers in front of the net. Valentini on the back check after retrieving his stick. Gets the puck away and he gets it knocked out again. And that's going to be a penalty. They finally call it. And that one's going to be picked up in the corner. And we'll have a four on four for nearly the remainder of this period. Boy, Valentini might have a weak grip on his stick there, but it does draw a penalty here. Yeah, sarcastic cheer from the crowd. They were calling for it down at the other end as Valentini had the stick chopped out of his hand. And it happens again as he nearly had a shorthanded breakaway and uh, really did shut it down. And uh, Nebraska kind of hurt themselves there as it'll now be four on four action for the bulk of what remains in this second period. Face off. On a side here, and it's picked up in the corner. Back behind the net, trying to field this one and back the other way. Bienkowski loses the puck. Centering pass, has a man out front, hit the heel of McAtee's stick, and Arkansas has got to retreat, it's Sugasawara on a three-on-one now. He just lays down and makes the nice play. Here comes Wilson, a two-on-one the other way. Near side finds Estrada. Into the zone comes Arkansas. 1.45 to go in the period. Estrada on the puck, turning move in the corner, just trying to bat it along, reaching for the puck, and Wilson can't quite hold the line. Back the other way come the Huskers now, into the offensive zone. Slowly with its Miller, he'll send it into the corner. After it there is the goal scorer, that's Caden Davis. A couple of Arkansas players down there to help out. 1.24 to go in the period. On the puck again. The puck comes loose out front. Nice shot there. Saved. 
Davis not able to put one past Reese. Down the ice, here comes Sugasawara. He's looking for a shot. Sugasawara, wraparound opportunity. Back to the point. McAtee fakes the slap shot. McAtee on the puck, still has Sugasawara at the point. McAtee, stick handling, looking for a man in front. McAtee loading one up, throws one towards the net. No, he whipped on the shot there, and back the other way comes Detna. Detna on a two-on-one. Sugasawara on the back check. He's got tired legs. Good job by McAtee just to break up that play as it's sent to the far side corner. 47 seconds to go in the period. Arkansas drew that penalty and it's really helped kill off this major penalty. This one sent back down the ice. Another shot there by Hill is saved. And that one goes up and out of play. Brendan Hill has the majority of chances here for the Cornhuskers but can't put one by. Yeah, he's been flying all over the ice and you can tell every time he does his hair just flows by with it. As we see him take his fifth shot of the game there and a good save by Reese. Sends it up and out of play. Bob Ford to take the face off against Hershey. This one's one back by Arkansas. Near side sends it back behind the net to Skier. 30 seconds to go in the period. Arkansas across the blue line into the neutral zone. Here comes Hewerman. Hewerman leaves one off here. To Skier, shot is saved and batted to the corner there by Lutz. To Skier, the 30th shot of the game for Arkansas. Back to center ice, Arkansas steals it away. This is Hershey, back pass, 11 seconds to go in the period. Here's LaPlante, he'll send one all the way down. That one's gloved and stick down on net. Three seconds to go, and this will run out the rest of this second period of action. Your Arkansas Razorbacks do hold the one goal lead. Well, it was a hard fought period there for the Hogs. We thought they would go into the intermission all square, but able to get that late goal from Cam McAtee and regain the one goal lead for him. Yeah, McAtee's kind of had, had an up and down game at the blue line. He uh, forced a turnover, or turned the puck over that led to a couple chances down at the other end, but uh, on another one, little glove save to keep it in the zone and able to find the back of the net with it. So uh, you know he'll be looking to clean up those mistakes, but Arkansas does lead this one two to one, although they will come out in the third period with about 30 seconds remaining on Trevor McLean's major penalty and a, an unfortunate hit, ill-advised, uh, put him in the penalty box, perhaps out for the rest of the game. We'll keep an eye on it, see if he comes out for this third period. But for now, Arkansas leads two to one. Yeah, and they did play an excellent end of that period. It seemed like in the middle of that period, though, it was all Nebraska generating chances the other way. And we saw some of this last weekend as well. Uh, New Mexico was able to generate those chances behind the defense. We saw that with Miami trying to do the same thing. That's what Arkansas will give you, though. They, they want to give you a couple of chances to run at your goaltender. And Brady Reese has uh, stood up to the task so far. Yeah, I think it's just how aggressive their defensemen are on the offensive end, and it really leads to a lot of goals. So I think that's a trade-off they're willing to make most of the time as they get a lot of production from their blue line with, uh, uh, of course, Cameron McAtee, but Corey Reese a couple goals last week. Uh, Deskier's played excellent. He's had a, a couple chances here today as well. Well, it's a barn burner here at the Jones Center. Your Arkansas Razorbacks lead by a score of 2-1. to one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the third period of action.
Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks take a two to one lead into the third period. Alongside me is Corey Porter and Jonah Story. My name is EJ Sanders. As we get ready to start this third period of action, boy, the Hogs have been excellent in all facets of the game. Yeah, they've looked great so far and they lead on the scoreboard two to one, but uh, despite leading in shots by a significant margin, uh, Nebraska has been able to keep this just a one goal game, uh, mainly due to one man on the other end of the ice, and that is Bennett Stanchfield, the goaltender for the Corn Huskers. Has been excellent in goal, even though he's seen a ton of shots. And on the other end, we have Grady Reese, who did give up the one goal, but to his credit, it was on a breakaway that uh, really Arkansas has been allowing quite a few of so far. Uh, they, they've seen this Corn Huskers offense get behind their defense, and uh, they made him pay for it. Well, a centerized faceoff will start this third period of action. Arkansas will be on the disadvantage for the next 29 seconds, but they did the bulk of the work already. In the box for McLean right now is Ian Lotz, so McLean will probably not be returning to this game. Chair to take the face off for Arkansas. This one's one ahead here. And into the zone comes Nebraska. Into the neutral zone, up the near side boards, looking to work it along there is Detna. Detna sends it into the corner. After it there is Arkansas, slapping at the puck on the far side. There's Weber. Weber. Pinched along the boards there by Deskier. Down into the corner, now back to the point, and it's held in here. Stick handling, seven seconds to go in the power play for Arkansas. I'm sorry, for Nebraska. Nice save there by Reese. Far side now, here comes Scherer. Scherer out of the box. Can't play it out of the box as lots. Just to clear that area before you can get back in on the action. McAtee on it now for Arkansas. McAtee looking for the long outlet pass. Finds lots ahead, but it hit the skate of the linesman. Checked up, and Valentini's into the offensive zone onside. Fires a shot, saved down. Valentini leading this team in shots through two periods. Far side boards now. Here come the Huskers. Arkansas able to hold the line. Far side now, LaPlante shot stick to side. Up into the glass. Arkansas on the puck again. The Hogs after it in the corner now. That's Valentini on the puck. Down there in the corner is Weber as well. Giving chase now is Miller. Jacob Miller's outlet pass. Stopped down there by LaPlante. Shot blocked down in front there by Bergman. Another shot there from the point is gloved down and sent aside. Stanchfield, his defenseman wasn't ready for it. That was Biankowski. Arkansas has a chance to keep the pressure up now. LaPlante has McAtee near side. Banks a pass along. This is McAtee, works by one man. He makes Detton a miss. Five on five action here. Arkansas able to kill off a major penalty to end the second period. And cross check to the ice there is Wilson. No call, far side boards and loading one up there is LaPlante able to avoid the hit there is Bergman. Arkansas on the puck though. McAtee with it. McAtee, stick handling. By one, by another. How, how does McAtee hold on to the puck through traffic? Lays a pass off, Wilson not ready for it. Now McAtee with it. Sauces a pass in front, Sugasawara pinching down. Couldn't quite gather the puck in. Yance, good job. Johnny on the spot, makes a nice move, and here comes Christian Yance back the other way. Yance stick handling through traffic. Sticked off the puck there by Biankowski. Yance back to the point, finds Wilson. Wilson throws one towards the net, and it's blocked down, and going to the bench for a change is Urbans. Romero stopping pass there to Wilson. Wilson, right-handed stick up the near side, now finds Cruz. Cruz into the offensive zone for Arkansas, has Sugasawara streaking to the net, throws a shot instead. That's steered aside there by Stanchfield. Stanchfield able to make the majority of saves tonight. Another out pass there for Sugasawara. Couldn't quite find it. Cruz centering pass is broken up by Brent. He'll send it out of the zone. Stick down at the blue line and slows up the play is Odeline. Odeline still on the puck. Has a man near side, Romero. Sauces one to him. Romero loads one up. Trying to work one out of the zone. It's held in there by Bontius. Back behind the net now, Romero still on the puck. And Arkansas will regroup. Three minutes, 10 seconds gone here in the third period. On the puck now, this is Odeline. Odeline looking to work it across the curling dot, across the blue line into the offensive zone. Another shot there, off the post! Comes all the way back out, high slot. Head fake there by Hershey's. He just throws one into the corner and it's turned over. Back to the Cornhuskers. Down into the corner, Hewerman giving chase now. Estrada on it. Estrada pressuring his man in the corner, that's Brandt. 
McAtee pinching down, along with Estrada, a little miscommunication, and Estrada lost in his skates. Had to just throw it blindly into the corner. Picked up there by Lutz. Lutz sends one along near side. McAtee wheels one towards the net. Behind the cage, rebound comes out front. Arkansas not able to stick it home. That was Hewerman. Far side boards. Estrada, Hewerman, Hershey on the ice right now. Brant's going to chase it down to the near side boards. Hershey upends his man, held the line there as McAtee stick handles through traffic, pass one. Hershey with a man down low, wheeling pass in front. Stanchfield knocks it to the corner. Hershey still on the puck, has a man back at the point. It's kicked down there by McAtee. Throws one down low, settled down here by Estrada. Estrada's wheeling shot is easily blocked down there by Lutz. Lutz on the puck now. Right-handed stick sends one up the ice. It's going to be picked up in the offensive zone by Hill. Hill not able to run down Deskier, and Deskier has some space to skate. Lays a pass off, Hershey now to McAtee. Four minutes, 35 seconds gone in the period. McAtee a long shift. Outlet pass near side, hits the stick of Motor. Motor not able to settle that one down. It's the second time we've seen that tonight from him. Into the zone, Arkansas just banks the pass back out of the zone, and it's settled down here by Biankowski. He'll dump it back in, five minutes gone here in this third period of action. Two to one, Arkansas leads. LaPlante on the puck. LaPlante, head fake around one. LaPlante skating it in himself. Lays a pass off, Motor throws one at the net, and Stanchfield will settle it down. That's one thing you want from your goaltender. Don't give up a ton of rebounds, and Stanchfield's done a good job. Yeah, it's been all Arkansas for the majority of this period. One man effort by Cam McAtee to keep that in. Great pass by Hershey, a nice spin around move, but a good save by Stanchfield. Base off will be to Stanchfield's left. Patterson to take it, it's one back instead by the Huskers. Into the corner, Biankowski sends it up the near side boards. Arkansas waiting on the puck at the blue lines, LaPlante, but it works past him into the offensive zone, skating ahead there, and a shot is stopped down there by Yance, having an excellent shift and a great third period. Another shot in front, hit the heel of the stick of Weber, and Arkansas works it out the other way. Far side now, Elliott into the zone, has Patterson on the drop, leaves it for him. Patterson, high slot shot, fires it up and out of play. Couple of opportunities for Kyle Patterson tonight, and Blake Elliott setting that play up for the Hogs. Yeah, and an opportunity down at the other end of the ice, but an excellent defensive effort here by Yance, able to quickly recover and get in the way of that shot. Yance has been excellent on this second unit for Arkansas tonight. LaPlante and Yance. Face off one back, a shot right off the face off there by Valentini. You know, he really puts him on the net though. That's the sixth or seventh shot of the game. Cher to take it again for Arkansas. Cher. Wins this face off back, Valentini back to the point, finds LaPlante, LaPlante through traffic, fires it high. Stick the side to the far side boards, Rogers couldn't find his man, working by a man there is Arkansas, another centering pass, had a man streaking to the net. That was lots. Cher not able to hold the line, outlet pass now, and here come the Huskers back the other way. A big hit, a hip check there by Scherer. Sorry, LaPlante. This one's blown dead, as a linesman is down on the ice. Not sure what happened. He's up and appears to be okay. Yeah, that hip check took him right into the linesman on the near side, and there's not a whole lot of room out there. Talking about 10 big bodies, and we're talking about three more. Zebras out there trying to get out of the way. Just trying to play his position there. It's call the offside. Once he hit the deck, though, they were quick to stop the play, and Arkansas will regroup here. Huskers on the puck in their defensive zone. Stolen off of the stick. Valentini streaking toward the net, trying to poke at it there. He'll get met there with some exception from the Huskers defense. Yeah, they gave him a little bump, but I'd expect more than that when you poke at a goaltender's glove like that. Obviously, the whistle hadn't blown, but you got to let him know you're not going to take that. Not a whole lot of animosity between these two teams. Kind of a newer rivalry with Arkansas joining the Maka. Nebraska in the conference as well. Well, Arkansas certainly knows how to generate animosity. Down below the goal line now. Lots after the puck. Now Valentini. Valentini gets shoved off the puck there. Nice strong play by Papua. 
Back behind the net now, trying to regroup. Here come the Huskers. Outlet pass, Nebraska into the neutral zone. Now offensive zone, that's Bontis. Back behind the net now, Odeline after it. Lantz, far side, Valentini tips the pass along and has Odeline skating ahead. One on three into the zone, though, Odeline. It'll work his way by. Rebound comes out front. Stick handling move. Couldn't stick it home was Lotz. Lotz gets the puck back. Another centering pass at Cruz. Can't get it under the glove. Boy, howdy, a good opportunity there. Ian Lotz, a nice stick handling move. Couldn't finish it off. Yeah, just having to try to recover behind the net here. And a good job to get it out front for a quick shot. But, yeah, he had the goaltender well out of position there, but couldn't gather the puck in. Looks like it just got up on an edge. Found its way over his stick. Down into the corner now. Miller after the puck. Arkansas on it here. Wilson. Wilson back to the point. Has McAtee. McAtee back to Wilson down on the outer hash. Sugasawara over to help him out. Sugasawara, Cruz, and Wilson on the ice right now. Looks like Cruz has taken that spot for the time being. On this top line, Cruz on the puck. Back to the point. McAtee throws a shot. Tipped in front and couldn't put it home. That one. Pinballed around, and Arkansas not able to get a goal. Sugasawara lays his man out at center ice. Boy, he got the better of the charging man there in Arkansas with a little bit of motivation in the building. Near side boards, a scrum for the puck. Out with it, there's McAtee. Backhanded opportunity, save down, rebound there. Cruz not able to put it home. Boy, let's go back to that one. Yeah, you see Suga Sawara with the puck. It's lined up for a hit. Holds his ground. Able to stick that skate blade into the ice and got a get big, the better of big his cheer man. from the crowd here at the Jones Center. Amplified by his family sitting right in front of us today. Brant, far side boards, picked up there by Weber. Weber's outlet pass stolen away here by Suga Sawara. Griffin with a toe drag move in front, couldn't quite put it home. Down into the corner now, after it again is Weber, far side. Worked back along by Bontus to the near side. Arkansas holds the line again, McAtee, stick handling move past one, Deskier comes up to help him out, Deskier gets stick lifted there, no call. Back the other way, into the offensive zone, Bontus. Bontus on the puck, he gets knocked off of it there, trailing player, shot saved there by Reese. Puck still comes free to far side corner, now McAtee lifts one into the air and out of play. A good opportunity there for the Huskers, but the chance goes begging. Yeah, it really got broken up at the blue line. They were almost offside again, had to slow up and wait on it, and really threw the rhythm of that rush off. Good save there by Reese. And a good chance for the Corn Huskers. Face off will be to the left of Reese. Hershey to take it against Papur. Back to center ice. Hewerman on the puck, flips one towards net. Stanchfield comes out to play it. Wheels are running around to the near side. Skated along and Arkansas picks off the pass. Strata's pass, broken up in front. McAtee after it, sorry, Yance. Yance on the puck for Arkansas. Far side now, Laplante. Back to the near side, Hewerman. Hewerman content with settling it down. Yance almost gets it taken off his stick in front of the net. Four checking there with Papur. Near side now. Into the zone, here come the Huskers. Arkansas back the other way though, here comes Hewerman. Hewerman with a man in his hip pocket. Has to shoulder him off the puck, that was Detna. Now on it here is Hershey, his pass out front, Estrada shot saved and it's hand passed out of there. Yep. And the ACHA, you cannot hand pass it anywhere on the ice, unlike the NHL where you can do so in the defensive zone. A little rules explanation for you there. And a good block shot by Brandt who was called for the hand pass, but. Oh, it, well worth it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you sprawled out on the ice and uh, not much you can do. You see that Get it out of harm's way. You laid out completely prone. You see that puck right in front of your face. You don't want people whacking at it with a stick. The plant holds the line momentarily, but back the other way comes Bergman. Bergman into the offensive zone for the Huskers. Along the blue paint, Reese comes out to play it. Dangerous play there for Reese. Draw some awes from the crowd. Arkansas on it though, below the goal line, Yance. Yance, backhands one off the back of the net. Arkansas in disarray back there, and they'll finally work one up towards the blue line. Estrada able to poke one out of the zone, and Arkansas gets a defensive change. Romero on the ice, along with Laplante. Laplante will 
be next to change as this one comes up the ice, trying to pressure the play there into the zone as Estrada. That gets a full change for Arkansas. A huge hit laid on there by Romero, stood his man up. Another stick handling move by Estrada. He still hasn't left the ice, sorry, that's Patterson. Patterson and Motor on the ice now. Centering pass, Motor whiffs on the shot. Far side now, Odeline. He'll stick one along, and the intensity's turned up, and it's going to be a penalty on the Cornhuskers. It's going to be stick. a high sticking. I'm not sure if they're going to get Odeline for that or Nebraska. It looked like it could have been an elbow from Odeline, but instead they'll call a high stick on Nebraska. Yeah, Biankowski going to the box. Pretty clear call there. Came after Odeline. A little bit careless on the hit. O-line kind of sashayed by. and Stick came up high, caught him in the face mask, and we'll have a two-minute minor penalty. Arkansas with a great opportunity to open this one up right now. Ten minutes, four seconds gone, third period, a two-to-one lead. Wilson to take the face off for the Hawks. Arkansas won the last two meetings in this series, but Nebraska has won the last important one in this series at the regional final. We mentioned earlier in the broadcast, they've won, they won six of seven prior to that. Nebraska did to take the lead in the series, but Arkansas is trying to right the ship. On the puck here, this is McAtee. Minute 48 left in the power play. This is Estrada now, has Suga Sawara and Wilson. Wilson breaks into the zone, high circle. Centering pass, had Suga Sawara. Cruz gonna gather it back in. On his backhand, right-handed stick. Back to the point, finds McAtee. McAtee, we're gonna work it back along, has Wilson high slot. Wilson has to work by his own man, sends it far side now, McAtee. McAtee, high slot, fires a shot through traffic right into the logo, and we'll have another stoppage. 124 to go in the period. Sorry, in the penalty. 9.19 to go in the period. Arkansas with good puck control so far in this power play, able to get a shot away so on McAtee's shot. Suga Suara to take the ensuing face off. Wilson to McAtee. McAtee, Wilson, high circle. Shot through traffic, scores! Pops the water bottle, and that might have done it. That could be the dagger. Three to one, Arkansas leads. A power play goal from Zach Wilson. Yeah, McAtee gives it to Wilson, and he just quickly steps into the slot. Unchecked. Finds the back of the net. Looks like he beat him glove side. Arkansas leads this one 3 to nothing. Wilson assisted by McAtee. The junior from Baldwin, Missouri. Having himself a great night here again. This one's won back by Nebraska. They've got an uphill climb now. Two more goals they got to find. They worked hard for their first one. We're able to get behind the Arkansas defense for that one. So hog call is broken out. Not one for the howl, but any time a hog call breaks out, we're going to have to participate a little bit. As you heard that one, Arkansas and these fans excited here at the Jones Center for a weekend of hockey action. Three to one, Arkansas leads. Near side boards, Huskers trying to work it back along. Arkansas on the puck. Far side now, Yance. Yance trying to stick it down, settles it down on the far side of the ice. He's getting pressured there by Weber. Back behind the net, now LaPlante on the puck. He'll send one near side boards, Motor looking to break into the zone. He'll flip one end over end, down into the far side corner. It's gonna be picked up there by Brandt. Brandt wheels a pass near side boards. Huskers looking to break out of the zone. 7.53 to go in the period. Arkansas four checking here. Valentini on the puck. Valentini gets knocked off there and Papour comes away with it. Papour, stick handling move, dangerous area there. Comes all the way back out of the slot, Romero. Has a D to D pass, gets checked there, sends one to the far side, had a few guys bearing down on him. That was a couple of Huskers. Into the zone, Odeline settles it down, and Arkansas regroups with seven and a half to play. Three to one, Arkansas leads. Near side boards, Lots trying to kick it back along, comes all the way down though. 
and that's an icing. 7.23 to go, third period of action, 3-1, to one, Arkansas leads. Really haven't seen a whole lot of urgency from this Cornhuskers team. They've remained patient, but uh, running out of time here, and they now trail by two goals, so really need to see them kick it up another notch and uh, dig down deep and try to make this a game here late. Ace off a beat to the right of Dusenka. One back here, Romero on the puck. He'll bank one along. Oda line back to Romero. A little tic-tac passing. Has a man near side. Looking for the long stretch pass. Romero instead opts to skate it out of the zone himself. Just works it back along, but it's batted into the zone. Here comes Hill. Hill shot. Tough angle. Saved there by Reese. Wow, that one came up and handcuffed him. But he's able to hold on for the freeze. Yeah, Hill stepping in here. Just takes that sharp angled shot. Dangerous. Why not? Throw it at the net and Reese with a good save and kicks away from that goal line just to make sure. Face off will be to the left of Reese. Hershey to take it for Arkansas. He'll be taking it against Andrew Hiller, the Roka, Nebraska native. Eight points on the year. Back to the point. Arkansas sticks it away. Here comes Hershey. Way out of the net is Stanchfield. He tries to stick it away from him and he does. Poked it right off of him. And back the other way comes Urbans. Urbans. He's met there by LaPlante, back behind the net. Now that's McAtee. He shields his man off the puck, comes up the near side boards. All the way down. They will not blow this one dead. Settling it down in his own zone. That's what Lutz. Lutz to the near side. Outlet pass, finds his man two on one the other way. This is Hiller. Hiller sliding man past him. That was LaPlante. And Arkansas is able to settle it down. Estrada a turning move. Across the blue line into the offensive zone on the near side. Arkansas trying to get the puck back. Lutz sends it far side. Thomas trying to work it out of the zone. Sends it all the way down, and Arkansas will touch up for the icing. 6.17 to go in the third, Corey. Yeah, running out of time for Nebraska and for Arkansas. Just keep the pressure up. Try to keep them out of your own end. Keep the pressure away from Grady Reese. And, uh, yeah, put another goal in the back of the net. Why not? Face off one back here by Arkansas. LaPlante on the puck. LaPlante on it here, looking to work one far side. Sugasawara shots blocked down in front there. Nice job by Hiller. Wilson loads up a hit. Cruz centering pass. Has Sugasawara between the legs. Shot went wide. Cruz on the puck again. Kyle Cruz. Backhand pass. Has LaPlante. He gets blocked down, and LaPlante ends up interfering with the man there. And McAtee will touch up for the penalty. Yeah, Kevin LaPlante looked like he got stunned after that block shot and had no other choice but to take that man down, at least in his mind. Fun fact about LaPlante, he's on his way to being the most penalized Arkansas player in Arkansas D3 history, and he did play a season of Division I as well. The most uh, penalized player at the D1 level, Corey, who is it? Um... Aiden Everett would be my guess. He's up there as well, but it's actually Chris Stovall. Face off will be to the left of Griffin Sugasawar. This one's one back, chopped at it there is Odeline. Arkansas comes away with it. This one's sent up the near side boards and all the way down the ice. Arkansas has got to kill off a two minute penalty, a two goal lead though. A little bit of a cushion. They don't want to give up even one here. Wilson and Sugasawar on the ice to kill this one off to start with. Stick handling move, good job there, and Wilson just shields his man off the puck. Romero on it now, far side, Odeline. Odeline, oh, a nice little fake there, and he'll send it all the way up the ice, tipped into the zone there by Wilson. Stanchfield just wants to cover it up. Wilson pressures the puck, and Arkansas earns themselves an offensive zone faceup. Yeah, questionable from Stanchfield. We talked about it earlier in the game. He was willing to cover up anything that came near him, and uh, really, you kind of want to keep that one going. Wilson wasn't pressuring too hard, and... You know, you want to keep the flow of that power play going, not stop it and get a defensive zone face off. And, you know, Arkansas will try to make him pay here with Cruz. Fresh legs on the ice. Yeah, Kyle Cruz. The never ending motor on this kid. He wins this one back. Out of the zone, though, here comes Brendan Hill. Hill with a ton of shots through two periods. He'll load up another one. Kick save, rebound, saved again. Grady Reese with five minutes to go. All the way down the ice, Arkansas sends it. And the Huskers regroup. Near side boards now, looking to break back into the zone. 
On the puck, there's McAtee, working by him's Detna. Detna on the outer hash near side, looking to work it into the zone, has a man in the corner, that's Weber. Weber loading up a pass in front, back post, has a man shot, saved again, oh, off the crossbar. Thought Gr Re Reese got a piece of it. Near side now, into the zone, here come the Huskers. Reese out of the net, confidence building for the young man. Far side, Arkansas trying to stick it out of the zone. Here comes Deskier, he's got a man streaking, that's Cruz. Deskier takes it himself. Deskier loads up a shot and that one finds the glove of Stanchfield. Good Lord, a plethora of saves there from Grady Reese and Arkansas keeps this a two goal lead. Yeah, Hill with a nice shot there, but a kick saved by Reese as the crowd gives him another cheer. Nice readjustment there to get the rebound. Grady Reese looking excellent in goal tonight. Excellent save there by Reese, and this one's won back here by Arkansas. Falling over his man, there's Valentini into the corner, picked up here by Hiller. Hiller, far side boards. It's going to be picked up there by Urbans. Urbans trying to just get control of the puck, but Arkansas is pressuring. 11 seconds left in the minor penalty for interference. Near side now, looking to get into the zone, but Arkansas steals it away again. This is McAtee, has a man going towards the net. That's Valentini, loading one up. He gets knocked down. Scherer follows up, fires a shot wide. 3.44 to go in the third. A big hit laid on, near side boards. Arkansas takes it away. McAtee chips it ahead to himself, has to work his way through traffic. Fought his way through. But the puck comes back to the Arkansas zone. Hogs on it here. This is Deskier. Deskier near side boards. Finds the stick of McAtee. McAtee into the offensive zone. Flips one high. And that one stays in play. Lots. Far side. Looking for Valentini. It's steered aside there by Papour. Into the zone. Arkansas after it again. Valentini back pass. Had a man in the slot streaking to the net. That was Sheriff. Outlet passes. Arkansas settles it down. McAtee on the puck. McAtee trying to work his way by and does. Muscles his way by one man. McAtee loads up a low shot save. Stanchfield freezing in the pose. Been a good battle of goaltenders tonight, and it's unfortunate that one of these guys has to lose. 2.56 to go in the third. They'll run it back again tomorrow. We'll get to that schedule here shortly. 2.56 to go in the third. This one's one ahead by the Cornhuskers. Into the offensive zone, Hill after it. Hill stopping, moving the corner. He's got 10 goals on the season. Boy, you can tell tonight he's a high volume shooter. Yants trying to pressure his man in the corner. Hill comes away with the puck. Puck is loose out front of the net. Is knocked into the corner again there by Arkansas. Motor able to hold on to the puck. How about Ethan Motor? A young freshman is caught in the skates of the referee. Keeps his poise though, and Arkansas comes away with it. Near side boards, this is Odeline. Quick one touch pass far side, Hewerman. Hewerman has Odeline skating with him. Hewerman, with the man back post, couldn't quite find him. Hewerman gonna work it back to the point, Motor. Motor throws a shot high, fluttering towards the net. Stick down there. And it's picked up in the corner by the Huskers. Wheeled back along by Miller, has a man near side. Arkansas trying to up to four check pressure with 2.06 to go in the game. Romero turns it away at the line, and he gets loaded up there. Big hit by Nebraska. Flipped high into the air. That was Nick Bontus. Another hit there by LaPlante. Physicality's turned up. Might be a preview of what to see tomorrow night. LaPlante pinning the puck against the boards. 1.43 to go. A two goal lead for Arkansas. LaPlante content with just freezing the rest of this game. The referee stating that this puck is still moving. He might call a freeze as LaPlante battling behind the net. What a battle. Kevin LaPlante. Snow Angel out on the ice. A full Nelson brought down. 131 to go, and I think a mutual respect there for that puck battle behind the net. As we take a look at Arkansas schedule here, you see they play Nebraska once again tomorrow. And the following week, a Sunday game as North Texas comes to town, and that will be the final home game of the semester for Arkansas as they go on the road to Kansas and Missouri before taking that break and eventually coming back home against Dallas Baptist in late January. Well, and a good time to look at the schedule, Corey. A lot going on, as you see. They got their eyes set on those Nationals in March. Arkansas able to make it there last year. 
got past their rival. It was two rivalry games in the semifinals. It was Hope against Michigan. It was Arkansas against Missouri State. Hate to relitigate history, but Arkansas able to get past their rival up in Michigan and make it to the national championship game only to fall short to Hope College. So they'll want a, another crack at it again this year, basically bringing back the whole roster. Keller Sims and Andrew Falls talking it out on the bench. On the other side, Larry Taylor and Tim Miller trying to sort something out and maybe get a quick goal and get themselves back in this game. We'll see if Stanchfield takes his place between the pipes after this timeout. I only count five skaters so far for Nebraska. And yeah, Stanchfield does retreat to the metal cage. 1.31 to go. This one's one ahead, and here comes Wilson on the empty net. And while they did send him to the bench right away, and Wilson scores. Stansfield skated out there like he was going to be. In between the pipes, but Arkansas quick on that puck, and Wilson able to skate <laughs> it down and take the three goal lead. That's not what you want to see coming out of the timeout. Easy, easy goal. And really puts this one away yeah. for the Hogs. I don't really understand exactly what happened there. I thought there were only five skaters. I looked down at my score sheet for a second. All of a sudden, Stansfield had evacuated the net. Yeah, I was getting our empty net graphic ready to go. and uh, Look up, and it's already been empty. <laughs> it's been emptied, and Arkansas scored on it. But they'll put Stansfield back in. He's... Uh, adjusting some equipment, but Arkansas seemingly has put this game away as they take a four to one lead with just so under a minute and a half remaining. Well, it's been a close, closely contested game though. Absolutely. This game's gonna bring Arkansas to 13 and two on the season and drop Nebraska to eight and three. 118 to go in the period though, and this game, Arkansas has taken a commanding lead. Three goal lead, they'll dump one into the zone. Into the corner now is Lutz. Willie Lutz to the near side. Outlet pass there by Brandt. Finds his man, far side of the ice. I think Arkansas and Nebraska content at the end of this game, unless you're Kevin LaPlante. He likes the physicality. Tried to step up on a man there, but Urban's got the better of him. Those two have been going at it all night. McAtee near side, touch pass, finds Suga Suara. He's trying to work his way by Urbans, drop pass. Wilson gets stood up there. Far side now, settled down. Little drop pass, finds Jans, fires a shot wide. 37 seconds to go. Back to the point. This puck is trickling towards McAtee, has to step up on that one. Near side boards now, Cornhuskers on the puck. Nebraska, bank pass, finds Brant. Brant looking to work it out of the zone. He blows the tire, and it's picked up by Suga Suara. Suga Suara. Looking for the drop pass, can't find his man. He gets planted into the boards. Picked up here by Lutz. Huskers with 15 seconds to go in this game. Yants loading one up there and just puts a soft hit on his man. And Arkansas is going to skate out the rest of this game, Corey. Good win for the Hogs. Really, it was a close game the whole time. It, it didn't seem like Nebraska ever had the upper hand. But the score remained close. And again, I mentioned it earlier in the third period, not a whole lot of urgency from the Cornhuskers. And then you see them call the timeout when they're trailing by two goals with about two minutes left. And uh, the first thing they do is lose a faceoff and give up an empty net goal. So uh, a little bit left to be desired from this Cornhusker team. Uh, they got another chance to do it tomorrow, maybe a little bit tired from traveling. But, uh, you know, some added motivation as they come into tomorrow's rematch, looking to avenge this loss. and. Uh, that'll now be three straight for the Hogs against this Nebraska team. Yeah, excellent job here at the Jones Center to finish the job. Three straight at the Jones Center as well. So Arkansas found themselves a formidable opponent coming in here. Arkansas has been blowing the doors off of most teams. Missouri State able to nab a win. We'll see if Nebraska can rebound tomorrow. I believe the game time is 3.15, 3.30, somewhere around there. So 3 o'clock we'll, we'll be here and we'll be ready to go for all the action for Corey Porter and Jonah Story. My name is EJ Sanders. So long from the Jones Center.